There's a new filter in Photoshop CS6 that I just wanted to show you. It's absolutely brilliant. So I've got this picture here. I've actually gone through Camera Raw. I've opened it as a smart object, which is a smart filter as well. And we'll come back to that just a little bit later. But uh, taking a look at the image first, you'll notice I've got the hand tool selected. So if I just press Command or Control, I can pop in and you will see that it is not entirely sharp where it should be sharp. So rather than delete it just using the alt or the option key to zoom back out again rather than delete it this is where a one of the new filters in photoshop really comes in handy we're going to go straight up to filter we're going to drop down to oil paints with oil paints that's now open into this here it looks absolutely brilliant you can see a nice paint to the effect if i just right click we can drop down to 100 percent that's where i was going right taking a look Look at that, absolutely stunning. It really does a brilliant job. So let's take a look. What have we got? We have got brushes here. If you drop this back, you can see the way that's working. You've got some rough edges coming around there, some nice texture going on. The more you bring the stylization up, the more it begins to sort of settle down as such. Something around uh, that area there looks pretty good. Right, cleanliness, dropping that down. Yeah. You can see it's not that clean anymore. Bringing it up, let's take it right up to the top, and you can see you've got a much cleaner look to it as you release it. You can see much more swirls going around, with, particularly with the palm there. That looks really good, like the way that's looking, but we're going to drop it down. I want a little bit of texture in with this, and uh, liking the way that's, yeah, that looks pretty good like that. Scale, dropping scale down, and you can see that's very sort of, flat as it were, bringing the scale up as we bring the scale up so you get more sort of depth coming through with this. Let's just drop it down sort of midway, something in that realms there looks perhaps up a wee bit more. Yep, that looks better, just like that. The bristle detail, let's drop in the, down our bristle detail. Right, I think we got more for our text in there. No, nice bit of render work, but uh, shame about the detail. Bringing it up, through comes the bristle detail there, like that. So we'll leave it around that area there. If you right click again, incidentally, it's exactly the same. If you click on the bottom here, it's a drop down menu. But if you right click, you get the same menu. We can go to fit in view. We can pop out. We can take a look because with the light in, you've got the angle, your angular direction. That's it. Bringing it through this way. You can see the way you can sort of twist it round a bit. Something in that area there looks pretty good. The shine, if you bring it up that way. Yes, that's very shining if we bring it back that way that's not at all so let's bring it in a little bit you can see the way we can just control how it looks let's pop back into a hundred percent like that and now we use the shine just to sort of bring that through like the look of it click OK to that it's not really that important at this stage because it's attached itself as a smart filter. So you can actually use the oil paint as a smart filter, which is brilliant because it means we can come back into it at any time and make some adjustments. Talking of adjustments, adjustments here, we've got some new, well, they're not new adjustment layers. Well, there's one new then. I've done a separate video on that. That is absolutely brilliant. But if we just take a look, if I click on vibrance, for example, you notice the way this pops out. Let's bring the vibrance up. Let's give this image a lot more sort of bites as far as color is concerned. Bringing that up like that looks pretty good. Right, let's pop it back in. Because the next stage, we're going to pick up the marquee tool. When the marquee tool is selected, the rectangular marquee tool, you'll notice as you drag it out now in CS6, you get a little window open, giving us the width and the height that we're actually now using, which is great if you want to scale something. I'm going to bring it in roughly to that area there. Not going to scale this, but we are going to create a vignette. Yes, you know how I like my vignettes. But this time, we're going to go to Hue Saturation. You'll notice with the adjustments here, as soon as you bring the cursor over, the way it tells you exactly what it is, just below that adjustment sign, Hue Saturation is what we're after. Lightness, let's rank up the lightness, take it to the right there, and so that sort of area looks pretty good. Now, at the top of the panel, you have got the Hue Saturation, and you've got the mask. Like the way they've added this in, if we just drop down to invert we've now inverted that selection so the light area is around the outside we can bring up the feather and it's something into that area that's the sort of look i was after let's go back in you can pop back into the saturation at any time or the lightness should i say and sort of change that and adjust it so everything is completely adjustable so far 
including the fact that we can double click on the thumbnail we can go back into camera raw and perhaps uh, let's just take a look take up a little bit of the vibrance with this and a little bit of the clarity and click OK to that and through that's going to come because it's a small object and there it is so let's zoom into 100% of the picture see what it really looks like double clicking on the zoom tool in we go just pressing down the spacebar looks pretty good love the way that's working it's really giving it a new lease of life coming across here looking you can see the fishing net coming down there palm trees in the background great job command zero control zero to go to fit on screen it's a superb new filter love the way as well it works with a smart uh, smart filter which gives us the option to come back in in at any time really does work a treat go on give it a try but until the next time it's happy imaging and take care